Hi everyone and welcome to a St Andrews Wargaming video bat report. Today I'm going to be playing Doug in a Maelstrom of War mission and we're going to be playing Cleanse and Capture which is the standard three cards per turn uh, Maelstrom of War. And this is going to be uh, Death Watch versus an Eldari army at 2000 points. So let's take a look at the Death Watch army. Here I have a double battalion. For my HQ units I have the Watchmaster. I have a Watch Captain with a Jump Pack, Thunder Hammer and Storm Shield. I have a Watch Captain with Jump Pack, Relic Blade and Boat Pistol. Uh, the Watchmaster is going to have the Tomb of Ectoclades Relic. And the Watch Captain with the Relic Blade is going to be my Warlord. To finish off the HQs, I've got a Librarian with a Force Sword and a Boat Pistol. And he is going to take Null Zone and Might of Heroes. Then I have my veteran squads. I've got a unit of nine veterans and a vanguard veteran. The vanguard veteran has dual lightning claws. The veterans all have storm bolters and chainswords, apart from the two carrying storm shields. I then have two five man squads with two missile launchers each and bolters and chainswords. I then have a five-man veteran squad with a storm shield and four combi melters and they're going to be riding in a drop pod. I have a unit of ten Primaris intercessors with the bolt rifle and bolt pistols. I have a razorback with twin las cannon and storm bolter. I have a venerable dreadnought with a twin las cannon and a storm bolter. Then I have five veterans with Stalker Bolters. I then have two three-man bike squads and these are identical with twin bolters and a sergeant with a storm bolter and a storm shield. Uh, so I am playing a double battalion as well. I have got five units of Cabalite Warriors with Blasters in Venoms, three Ravagers, a unit of Scourge with Shredders, a unit of Swooping Hawks, Three units of five rangers, two crimson hunters, a warlock with jinx, and a farseer with doom and executioner. Okay, so that's the two armies. We're going to work out the objectives and get the deployment done, and then we'll be back to you. Okay, so this is the board after deployment. We're playing cleanse and capture with vanguard strike. Um, we placed the objectives, and I got to choose deployment zone choosing the side with some nice buildings and some nice cover to keep me safe from the enemy guns. I've deployed the Death Watch. I've got a kill team with missile launchers in the building here. A unit of bikes with the Warlord Captain at the back here. Unit of Stalker Marines holding the objective at the back. I've got the Venerable Dreadnought and the Razorback with the twin LAS cannons facing off against the enemy vehicles. And some more missile launchers here. And then on the other side, I've got the bikers and the captain with the thunder hammer. And in reserve, I have the drop pod containing the combi melter kill team and the librarian. And the watchmaster, the kill team with storm bolters and the intercessors are in the teleportarium. So facing off against me, you can see the venoms here. Yeah deployed aggressively at the front. Then we have the Farseer and the Warlock on the jet bikes and the Archon just in the middle there. We have three units of Rangers, one in the building here, one behind the cover there and another deployed quite close to my lines in the cover there. We have the three Ravagers at the back here which Doug has set up out of range of many of my missile launchers which is problematic. We have the two flyers at the back, and then we have the unit of Scourges and Swooping Hawks in reserve as well. Looking over the Maelstrom objectives, we have number four at the back here, number two in my deployment zone here, and number six on my right. We've got number one in the centre of the uh, Eldar lines. We have number five basically in the middle of the board, and number three 
over here between the rangers. So I finished deploying first and I'll get the plus one to go first. So let's see what I can roll. Two, not great. And Doug gets a four, meaning he's taking the first turn. Unless I can seize the initiative, which I better do, because this isn't good for me. <laughs> it's gonna be good for me. And I don't, I get a one. So we're going into turn one with the Eldari, I assume, taking turn one. Absolutely. Correct. Lots of short range. That's fine. So we'll come back to you with the Maelstrom cards drawn for turn one. So, turn one for Doug and the Eldari, he drew Defend Objective 1, Defend Objective 5, and Take Them Alive, which is score one victory point if at least one enemy infantry unit was destroyed during the fight phase, and D3 points if they were a character. So Objective 1 is right in his lines here, Objective five is in the middle there, um, easily achievable and surroundable. So we'll see how Doug moves his forces, and we'll come back to you with that. So after my movement phase, I've spread my Venoms out quite considerably, still being on the front line as mostly sort of sacrificial units. Um, my main concerns are the units in deep strike, so I need to take the board as much as I can now uh, to try and force some bad positioning uh, from turn two. I've moved my Psychic up in range, ready to use my Venoms to hopefully kill the squad of Space Marines on the boxers. Move the Crimson Hunters to try and deal with some of the heavier anti-tank, hopefully. Um, and move the Ravagers to deal with the Bike Squad and reveal the Captain. And to deal with the missile launchers on top of the building. Uh, Going to go into my Psychic phase now. Before we do that, um, he did move this Venom into range of my bikes where I could use the Intercepting Volley Stratagem to fire at them. The only problem with this is it is two command points and it's an additional minus one to hit, meaning that I'd be hitting the Venom on fives. I do get reroll ones with the captain, but probably not worth it to try and steal first blood. I think I'd be struggling, so I'm not doing that. So, psychic phase, what are we doing? So, uh, casting Jinx from the Warlock onto those and casting Doom from the Farseer onto those. So, Jinx okay. from the Warlock. Fails on three. Yep. Not going to reroll. So Jinx on this uh, veteran squad fails, and the Farseer with Doom. He has Doom a pedals. Free roll, free yep. reroll from his psychic helm thing, and I think that's cast on a seven. Yep. So Doom does go off on a seven. So this veteran squad here with the two missile launchers is now doomed, and we go straight into the shooting phase. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to open up with the Ravagers on the bikes, uh, so I need 9 shots, sorry. 9 shots. Hitting on 3s, I have no reroll auras in range, unfortunately, but that's 8 hits. <laughs> good, good. Uh, winning on 4s, I believe, bikes toughness 5. Yep. That's 3 wounds on the bikers. So that's 3 wounds on the bikers, I'm going to take these on the Storm Shield on my Sergeant. So, first one saves, second one saves, third one doesn't. Um, let's command point that, first command point of the game. Yes, it saves, and do I get it back? I do, I keep it. And I don't get it. And he doesn't get it. So, good block and volley for the first shots. Right. So, in that case, bearing in mind that the Ravager failed to do anything, the Venom is going to open up. As we say, it's in 12, so it has 10 shots. And hitting on threes, winning on fours because of poison. No auras. And regular armor. That's five wounds on the bikers. Uh, let's take these on regular guys to start with. I fail one save. The guys in the back shooting splinter, um, and then the blast will be at the same target. But I'll roll that separately. Again, poison, so winning on fours. So that's five more wounds with the guys inside. 
And that's one failed save, so one biker falls to start with. And then the blaster. Blaster hits. hits. Wounds. Wounds. And Minus let's four. take this on the storm shield to start with. Nope, storm shield takes D6 the wound and kills the sergeant. So that's two bikers down already. So the venom in the centre here fired at this doomed squad here and managed to get seven wounds. So let's see how I do against them. And that's seven armour saves. My dice luck's been good this turn. Squad in the back. Squad in the back, get four hits, get three wounds. Let's see how these do. One dies. So the next Venom and the passage inside fired at this unit. Uh, the blaster managed to kill one and then the combined Stormbolt or fire got ten wounds, which I'll now take. Because I removed the guy that was sitting in the back and I'll get a cover save. Let's see how I get on. And one more dies, so that just leaves two left with the two missile launchers. So the Archon with the blaster open fire, killing another one, leaving me with just one left. So this Crimson Exarch opened up on the Venerable Dreadnought here, uh, scored three hits and then rolled a one, a one and a two to wound, leaving the Dreadnought unharmed at the moment. So the second Crimson Hunter open fire on the Razorback, getting two wounds with the Blight Lances and taking four damage from it. I think he was hoping for more than that. Just a little bit. Mm, yep. Or I'd rather just pulse lasers go through, because they're three damage each. Yes, that's true. Okay, um, Ravager at the other double missile launcher squad. So this Ravager at them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am not in aura range. Good number of hits though. And then threes to wind. That's five wins at minus three. Three, so that's five ups. And that's three die. So I'll take those three. Leave the two missile launchers. This Venom uh, is not in rapid fire range. And is in blaster range. Mm -hmm. So if it's alright, I'll roll all the splints together because they're all exactly the same. Uh, with the passengers as well. That wasn't good. That was a bit better. And that's four two ups. And the blaster hits. And blaster one dies, and the blaster is saved on a six. Oh, <laughs> this Venom opened fire at the lone veteran. Uh, only one shot with the vehicle hit and one wound. Can I make my two up? Yes, I do. He survives. And finally, for the vehicles, we have one more Ravager to fire. We do indeed. So, uh, final Ravager is going to. He's in range. Uh, Split fire. We'll do one gun on him, one gun on him, and yeah, I guess. How many wounds has this got? Six remaining. Six remaining, so I could half help that. Okay, so yeah, we'll split it that way. So on this one, split uh, fire he, always works out. He does have the reroll from the Archon of Wands. Fortunately. That's or not. one hit. Threes. That's a failed wound, so this guy survives. So on this. The Razorback. That's terrible. That's roll. two hits. Uh, fives to wound. That's one wound minus. Three. So that's a six up save on the Razorback. Can I make this? Nope, I can't. It's two damage. And two damage. That takes him up to six damage. And then on. And at the final, veteran. That's two hits. Two wounds. Uh, it's two wounds at minus three. So Six if six. I make these, I don't lose first blood. Uh, five, because I'm in cover. Or is it minus four? Yeah, minus three, sorry. It's, so five ups. Oh, so close. The last veteran falls, and that is first blood. Okay, so snipers. Okay. Um, I don't think the squad can really 
see anything. I've probably got one shot at the guy on, that I'm not in range of. Uh, this squad, again, shooting probably down the alleyway there into the tank. It's probably all they can see. Uh, okay, so we'll do the squad at the top. And I think I'm going to shoot the smash captain. Yo. Because I don't like them. That's three hits. Sixes, please. That's one mortal wound and two regular wounds. <clears throat> two regular wounds. I take one, so he's down two wounds. He's down to three wounds remaining. Uh, and then, yeah, just at the Razorback, because that's and then all I can see. The Rangers at the Razorback. That's three hits. And uh, that is one wound. one wound. No mortal wounds, though. And that's a save. Okay. So, so at the end of turn one, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, morale tests. I do need a morale test for this veteran here. So he's leadership eight. He lost four guys. He's fine. Uh, this squad lost two, so they're fine. So you did get first blood for a point. However, there is no uh, objectives yet. You didn't kill a unit in the assault phase. Uh, you're halfway to defending objective one, which is here, and objective five, which is here. So that could potentially get you a couple of points. Do you want to discard anything? Um, I think I'm just discard the fight phase. Yeah. So take them alive is being discarded. And with that, not a terrible position for the Death Watch, but I really would have liked first turn myself. So, with that, we go into turn one for the Death Watch. So, turn one for the Death Watch, I get Defend Objective 5, which is in the centre there. Overwhelming Firepower, Kill a Unit in the Shooting Phase, and Master the Warp. Uh, overwhelming Firepower, I can probably get. Defend 5 is going to be tough, but... Uh, master the warp. If I want it, I have to bring my drop pod in, which kind of wastes my combi melters. So I'm not sure I'm going to do that. So I'll have a think about it and come back to you with the movement phase. Movement phase for turn one of the Death Watch. I brought this lone biker over to try and get the objective, brought the dreadnought up, sent the shield captain after the vehicle here. Brought the bikers and the captain up to target this Venom and the Raiders. And after much hemming and hawing, I did bring in the drop pod with the chaplain and the melters. The melter guns were just in range to target this Venom up front. So it won't be completely wasted and I can hopefully score Master the Warp and Overwhelming Firepower. So on to the Psychic phase. I think I'm going to start with a smite. What's the powers you've got? I've got smite, null zone and might of heroes. And, cast two. and I can cast two. So let's start with a smite on this closest venom. And that's a seven to cast. Bear with me. Deny. The Farseer has denied the power. And I'm going to then attempt to cast... Might of Heroes on the Shield Captain. That needs a 5. That's a 7. Can it be denied? And again it can! Okay, so bringing the drop pod down was a big mistake because I didn't get... I didn't get Master the Warp at all. So, after a rather unsuccessful Psychic phase, we're going to start with the Shooting phase and I'm going to put these four Combi Melters into the Venom there. So hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, because I'm in range of the captain. Uh, that's two hits so far. That's only two hits. Wounding on threes. That is one wound. Let's... Nope, that gets through, but let's command point one of them, just so I can destroy it. We get it. Do I get the command point back? I do not, so I'm down to nine. Do I get the command point back? I do. And Doug does get one. Can he save the second wound? 14, right. No, sorry. No. And he doesn't, so that's 2d6. Let's hopefully kill this. 
That's seven. Is that enough to kill it? Three. Oh, you get saved, don't you? Seven. Yep. The joys of black heart sixes. Oh. So that's um, yeah, it's a one wound. Okay, so one wound left. So I have one bolter firing. Uh, I'm going to go with Kraken because I don't get to wound you on twos. So force to hit. That's two hits. Fives to wound. That's two minus one. Uh, so five up with vulnerables. Makes one, fails one, so d6. It's all on the six. Oh. No, and it is destroyed. That is one overwhelming firepower for me so far. Okay, so I think I'm... So, the vehicle didn't blow up, so no mortal wounds for me, and none of the passengers inside died, which is okay. So, we're going to continue on this flank. I, I'm going to put the Storm Bolter from the drop pod into the squad there. Uh, as well as the pistol from the librarian and the probably a grenade, I think, from the captain into this squad just in front. Um, if I kill them, it might leave my captain exposed, but I get overwhelming fire. Could potentially get some more points for overwhelming firepower, so let's see how it goes. So, all that firepower did a total of two dead. Eldari. The drop pod managed two wounds, but he made both his five up armor saves. The pistol failed to wound, and the grenade did manage to kill two there. So, unfortunately, I don't think I've got anything else that can target them at the moment. So, they are going to survive, I think, and not get me overwhelming firepower. So, I used the Wisdom of the Ancient Stratagem on the Dreadnought. Uh, fired his last cannons at the Venom. Neither shot me hit. Uh, the... Stormbolter did manage to do one wound, whereas my biker here with his uh, Kraken Bolts managed to take two more wounds from the Venom, leaving it on two remaining. Three remaining. Sorry, th three remaining. Six dice. And now I'm going to fire the Razor back into the Venom. This is a, an additional minus one to hit, so he's going to be hitting on fives. Two hits, two sixes, threes to wounds. That's two wins. Minus three. Five up in one of us. Uh, makes six. one, fails one, and this does d6 damage. I'll need a big number here. So I roll a one. <laughs> Feel the pain? Nope. nope. So it's down to two wins. The Storm Bolter, which I don't believe is in rapid fire range. No. Nope. Gets two shots. That's two hits again. Come on, fives. That's one wound with the Storm Bolter. Uh, fours. Uh, it's saved. That's fine. Okay, that is the shooting done there. Annoyingly, I needed a bigger number than that. The missile launcher. Cannot see that Venom, unfortunately. So, what he will do is... Do you know what? He'll wait for the bikers to fire first. The bikers will fire. So, I might use the flak missile stratagem but I'll let the bikers fire off first. So, the Stalker Marines fired at this Venom, did a single wound, but it was saved by the Feel No Pain. Uh, the bikers, let's put them into the Venom as well, and then what I might do is use the Tempest Shell Stratagem from the Captain to put some mortal wounds on it as well, to see if that helps. So, I'm going to do the bikers now, uh, we'll come back to you with that. So, we fired the bikers. The bikers had a good round, managed to take four wounds off the Venom. I then used the Tempest Cell Stratagem with the Captain and hit. And now I need to see how many mortal wounds I can cause. I've already used my reroll. I need a 3 plus to destroy it. And it's... Uh, no, it causes uh, two mortal wounds. Six hours, no. And no save. So the Venom is destroyed, thankfully. So, the Venom exploded, putting one wound on the bikers, killing one of the rangers, wounding this Venom, uh, this Venom, and putting a wound on the Crimson Hunter. And none of the guys inside died, so they can be deployed. Okay, so I only have this missile launcher left to shoot. Um, I do have line of sight of these three Cableite warriors. If I kill them, that is three units for overwhelming firepower. So I think that's probably worth the shot. So, Frag Missile. 
we get six shots. That's not bad, couldn't have asked for better. Hitting on threes. That's five hits. Wounding on threes and re-rolling ones. Oh, wait, wait, what's the thing there? Frag, yeah. Strength three, right? Four for frag missile. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, just a clarification there. Missile launchers are strength four. Uh, it's frag, sorry, frag grenades are strength three. So wounding on threes, re-rolling ones. That's two ones. That is four wounds at minus two. So, no saves? No saves, feel no pains. That's the unit dead. So that's three kills for overwhelming firepower. Knowing my luck though, I'll roll a one. <clears throat> so, with that done, that's the shooting phase out of the way. Not too shabby. I did kill a few units, but most of the big hitters I worry about, the Flyers and the Ravagers, are unharmed. But let's try and do some charges now. So the Dreadnought declared a charge on the Venom and the Archon. Managed to get into the range of the Venom, but he will be able to consolidate into the Archon if he so chooses. Uh, the Biker charged in. The Captain has declared a charge on the Warlock over here. And perhaps foolishly on the Ravager. I need, I think, a 9 or a 10 to get in on the Ravager. But if I roll high enough, I'd rather go after that than the Warlock. But at least the Warlock can't overwatch me, because he can't see me. So, let's see how the Ravager overwatch goes. That's two hits. That's one wound. Two wounds? One wound? One wound, two damage. And a three up save. And that is good. Oh. So let's see how far the Captain goes. I need a big number here. I'm looking for at least a... Nine, I think I need, or a ten. So let's see. A ten, that'll do it. So, the bikers attempted to charge the rangers. Uh, I only, I needed a six inch charge, I only rolled a four. Uh, went to use a command point reroll, but Doug, rather usefully, declared agents of Vect and blocked it. And he got two command points back from using that, and I, sorry, he got one command point back for using that, and I didn't get any. Next... <clears throat> Um, this is my warlord. Is that worth the charge? I can't see you, so I can't overwatch you. Rob, yeah, but then it leaves them exposed. That's, That's my true. only question. But then are the bikes going to live through a ravager? That is very true. So let's see if I can charge with the captain. And I do. The ten inches enough. So with that, we'll move him in and come back to you with the assault phase. So, I put three attacks into the Venom. Only one hit, but I did manage to destroy it. Put one attack with the Dreadnought into the Archon, but he made the Shadowfield save. Now, my Biker, if I so choose, could consolidate into this unit. Um, you wouldn't get to attack them, because I didn't declare them as a target. I couldn't. But, <clears throat> let's see, is the Dreadnought in range of the objective? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely within three. Yeah, so the dreadnought is, so I could potentially move forward and stop this unit from shooting, but they will get to attack me. I'll get to pile in. And you'll get More to pile in. Yeah, and you'll get to pile in, which is what I don't want, because I'm blocking him from getting defend five at the moment. I probably won't get it, but... This, well, I need to deal with the units. But yeah. We'll so try. what I can do is move the dreadnought in... No, that, that's no good, because you'll still get to pile in. So that's fine. So that combat's done. We'll go over to the combat with the captain now. He gets... <clears throat> what do we want to do? I think I'm going to use the Doctrine, the Heavy Support Doctrine, uh, to give me plus one to wound, so that means I'm wounding on twos with my Thunder Hammer. Isn't it reroll ones to wound? No, the Doctrine oh, okay. is uh, plus one to wound. It's ch mission tactics that are rerolled. Okay. So, do I get it back? I don't, so I am now down to do. six command points, and Doug does get it. So, please don't fluff these now, Captain. Okay, I am going to use two CP to give you minus, a further minus one to hit from Thunder Hammer. Okay. Uh, do I get anything back? I do. <clears throat> get one. Does that work in all phases, lightning fast reflexes? Yes. Yeah, so lightning fast reflexes means I'm currently hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Uh, I need all four of these to hit and wound in order to have a chance to... Like ten wounds. Kill it. 
So yeah, I need at least three, no, I need all four wounds to go through. So let's see how I do. Come on, Captain, big money. Uh, that is only two hits, no rerolls. Two's to wound. Two wounds go through. Three's to wound, right? Strength two. Uh, two, because I'm plus one. Oh, okay. Um, I've got no save, so they're three damage each. Three damage apiece. And so sixes. So, oh, come on, the Venom four takes damage. four damage. Uh, Not <coughs> quite enough to profile me. Nope, but maybe if I fight again, we'll see. So, the captain over here. Do I hit back? Uh, no, not till I've done my charges. So the captain over here attacks with the relic blade, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Uh, that is four hits. Wo relic blades plus two. So wounding on twos. Yeah, four dead. And the captain is not going to consolidate because there's no point. We debated this. I have left him out in the open so he could be targeted. But had I left him where he was, the flyer could have come over and easily targeted them and killed them anyway. So unfortunately, that's probably going to give it up for me. The question is now, do I spend three of my command points to attack again on the Ravager? Um, in all honesty, probably not worth it. So at the end of my turn, I have started defending Objective 5, but more importantly, I have stopped uh, Doug from getting it. I do get Overwhelming Firepower for D3, and now watch as I roll the 1. Yep, so I get one point for Overwhelming Firepower. I will discard Defend Objective 5, because that's unlikely. And Doug scores Defend Objective 1. Do you wish to dis... Oh, you can't discard any. So at the moment, that takes it to three points for the Eldari, one point for the Death Watch going into Eldari turn 2. Not an amazing turn for me. I did get Overwhelming Firepower, um, but only rolled a 1, which is unfortunate. I'm oh fine, if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna play like that, you can. Okay. Archon on the deck. So the Archon. Rerolling ones because of his aura. Nope. Um fives. Nope. No wins on the dreadnought. And the ravager. The ravager. Putting on fours. Nope. <clears throat> Okay, since Doug insists on playing by the rules, and it was absolutely pointless, because he didn't do anything, <laughs> but it's his choice. So, uh, I didn't get Master of the Warp, because both my powers were blocked. Um, unfortunately, it was difficult for me to get out of range of his Farseer, and still be able to cast a power. Uh, overwhelming Firepower, I only rolled a 1 in the D3, disappointingly. So, I'm going into turn 2, 3 points to 1, down. Um... I do get to bring my reserves in next, but I really think this turn will be telling. If it's a good turn for Doug, say hello, Doug. Hi. If it's a good turn for Doug, then I may not have much left to be able to contend the game. So we'll see how this goes on as we go into Eldari turn two. Well, Doug already had defend objective five. He's now pulled defend objective two which is the one in my deployment zone, and Witch Hunter, which is also in my deployment zone. So I sense something moving over there. So we'll see what Doug decides to do with his second turn. So, so movement phase for Eldari turn two, or Yunari, whatever it is. Um, two flyers came over here, looking to target the librarian once the squad's dealt with. The Ravager fell back from combat with the captain here, while the Archon moved up. The Raider and... A, you can move them if you want. The Raider and the Warlock moved over here, while the Archon fell back from combat. The uh, Cable Lake Warriors spread out here, while a Venom moved up on the Bikers. And the Scourges landed here, next to my Warlord, just out of range of these bikers that they could use the intercepting volley stratagem and the swooping hawks decided to stay in reserve for now so with that done some good board control by the Eldari we're moving on to the psychic phase so what are we doing first? Um, so doom on the squad yep that's I'm a going to use failure my fast air reroll and still fail and still fail, so that's a fail that's on Doom. not great. Okay, uh, so the Warlock 
is going to jinx on. I don't think he's. I don't know what measure of range actually. Eighteen. Yeah, he's in on that squad. On seven. No, the warlock also fails. Um, so last power then is the farseer is going to try and executioner on the dreadnought. Which cast an 11. And that cast an 11. I may as well see if I can deny it, because he's got nothing else to cast. Has he? Nope. Nope. So I need a 12. Come on, double six for the dread. Oh, so close. So close, so close. Is it worth the command point reroll? Probably not, but let's see what would have happened anyway. Oh, bugger <laughs> off. Come on. Okay, executioner Sorry. goes off. D3. Wins one. one mortal wind, I get a six up save, and I make it, so useless. So you were right not to spend it. I was right not to spend it. So, not the best of psychic phases for the psychic heavy Eldar, but we'll see what happens as we move on to the shooting phase. So the Cable Light Warriors here, rapid fire the splinter rifles into the biker, killing him. The uh, blaster then fired into the dreadnought, Hitting and wounding with a reroll thanks to the relic and taking three wounds from him. So, next up, we uh, have. So, I'm going to do this venom into that uh, squad. Yep. Um, I'm going to do the guys on the top as well at the same time, if that's right. Yep. So, I'm going to shoot the splinter guys into the squad and the blaster into the dreadnought. Okay. So, the Ravager has 10 shots rapid firing. The dudes on the back have. Eight shots, also rapid firing. Uh, eight shots. <clears throat> this is going to be one messy squad. I perhaps should have used intercepting volley here for them, but they were doing it again. Thanks to the Venom's inherent minus one, they would have been hitting on fives with the melt guns. Probably not going to do much. But I didn't get Doom off. No, but he didn't get Doom off, so that was nice. Which would have made a big difference. Yes. So that is five wounds on the squad. Oh, and I fail three three ups. The blaster on the oh. dreadnoughts hits. Wounds. No save for the dreadnought. It does five, five damage. And so. Uh, I save one. I believe that's the dreadnought left on one wound. Oh. I'll just double check that. Yes, so dreadnoughts have eight wounds, so that one six up save has left the dreadnought on a single wound remaining. Let's see what's going to fire next. Uh, I'll do this Ravager. I'm going to split fire uh, two disintegrators <coughs> into the squad. Oh yeah, three of them died. Down three. And I'm going to shoot one disintegrator into the Ravager. <coughs> the Dreadnought, you mean? Uh, into Dreadnought. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot myself. That would be silly. You said that. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two hits and no wounds. No wounds, okay. Oh, is that squad. in the Dreadnought? Yeah. Oh yeah. So on the squad we have... Five hits. Where's my minus one to hit Games Workshop? And that's five wounds. I hey, Raven Guard. <laughs> right, let's see how many the Storm Shield can tank. Uh, one, two, three. Nope, that's a fail. Let's command point that, can I? Uh, yes, you yes, can. Yes, he's going to allow me to use Agents of Vect. That's still a fail. Do I get the command point back? I don't get the command point. No, I don't either. And the last guy gets his minus three. three, so the last guy gets a six up save. Yes, and he survives. So we have one surviving squad to keep member, to keep the librarian kind of safe. <laughs> kind of safe. From from this side of the battlefield. This this, however, is not safe from. Okay. Uh the fast here is gonna shoot the last guy. Okay. So he has four shots, hitting on threes, three hits. So these rend, one rend. That's one rend, two, two rends, rend, which are minus three and three wound. And normal wound. So I need two another sixes. double six this turn. Nope, he's dead, quite dead. So the last guy falls, and the librarian is free to be okay. annihilated by so the flyers. I have two ravages left, I'm gonna shoot this, no, this Ravager, because of line of sight type stuff, 
I'm going to shoot one disintegrator into the dreadnought and two disintegrators into the captain. Split fire always works. He is very, very angry at the captain. He's ruined the paintwork. That's five hits on the captain. That is... Two wounds. Two wounds on the captain using his storm shield save. First one goes through. Two damage. Two damage. So the second one I need to make. Yes, so he's left on one wound remaining. That's not going to bode well for him with those snipers around. Uh, and then the... Misses. No hits on the dreadnought because split fire always works, boys and girls. <laughs> Just say no to split fire. No, don't do that. Um, just have enough redundancy in your list. Okay. Wise um, words that I should pay attention to. I am going to see if he can pip the last wound on the dreadnought with his. The strength. warlock firing at the dreadnought. Add insult to injury. Two hits. Two hits. No wounds. Oh. Poor Mr. Dreadnought survives. You don't want to charge him with anything? See if you can oh, kill yeah, him? I need to finish my shooting first. Well, obviously. So they're playing it on. Yep. Right. Uh, Scourge, are going to annihilate him. So, 46 shots. Probably. Um, 16. 12. 16 shots for the Scourge. They should Two, bounce four, off his six, armour quite readily. 10, 12. It'll be fine, don't 16. worry. It's just my warlords. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, so, hitting on three. Oh no, only 13 hits. Um, Ending on threes. threes. Strength seven, rerolling wounds against infantry. Of course he does, of course he does. I have a jump pack though, he's still infantry, but I have a jump pack. Minus one. Okay, so this is all four ups. And then the poison on the side right, one hit. Doesn't matter. So this is all four ups. Come on, Captain, you can tank this easy. Uh, that oh, is that's not bad. three failed, so he's down to two wounds remaining. Yeah, not as bad as I thought it would be. All right, well, I guess the Catalites are going to have to shoot him as well, then. Do they... Is the Dreadnought closer? No, no. No. No, that's fine. Okay, if they must. If you're going to play it like that, then fine. <laughs> You want to actually kill stuff? I thought we were here for a fun game, but if you're going to try and kill stuff, go ahead. So, eight poison shots. That is six hits. Force to wound. That is four more wounds. Any minuses? Uh, nope. nope. And, uh, on the blaster. Oof. Blaster hits and wounds, so let's see if he survives the shuriken first. He does not, so uh, that's the cover. captain dead. Cover. That's one wound, right? Okay, that's one wound. I, I wouldn't count that as cover, but if we're doing that. And the blaster, let's see. Uh, nope, he's dead. Squinch. He's dead, so that is Warlord. Alright. <clears throat> Unfortunately. So, uh, final Ravager. Right, let's shoot the squad in the back here first. Okay. Uh, shooting the blaster at the thing and the squad at the... Yep. The thing. So, blaster. Misses. Misses. Um, and then the squad. And then shuriken at the bakers in front. <clears throat> I wish it was shuriken. Poison. Oh, it's not. It's poisoned. Five. Oh, no. Force to win. Yeah, force three. isn't bad, though, against bikes. Three wins. Three, three ups. I've already got one wounded. Nope, they are fine. The bakers for once survived the game, which okay. is very rare in my lists. <laughs> So Ravagers are going to, this this Ravager is going to split fire two into that and one into that. Don't do it boys and girls. Don't do Absolutely it. Absolutely do it when you're doing this. Basically I've shot an entire Ravager into the Dreadnought. So I've shot one gun from each, which is the same as doing one, but if the first one had got it I'd have three guns. Yep. But no I can't okay. roll. So on the bikers, threes, I'm not in aura range. Nope. No, no, no. These to win? Fours to win, to win sorry. Two wins, minus. Let's, oh no, I can't take these on the Storm Shield because one guy's injured, so this will be a six up. Nope, one's dead, and let's take the next one on the Storm Shield. Tension. Nope, he's dead as well, so that is. Can I blow the dread? Oh, three, three hits on the dread. Five. Yeah. One wound on the dread. Uh, three. So six. Oh, I do get a save, so come on, Dreadnought, survive this. You boss. Nope, he doesn't. What's the damage? Two. So, 
Oh, two. Flat. Okay. Sixes. Double six. Double six. No, the Dreadnought falls. Does he blow up? No, he does not. So, the Dreadnought falls as well. <clears throat> okay, so, um, snipers on the roof at the... Well, well these guys, actually, because they can actually see yep. at the Smash Captain. That's not what we call them, but that's what he is. Three hits. Any sixes? Yes. Oh, one six. So, one mortal wound and one normal wound. He has one wound left. Yes, he does. So, he's dead. I forgot about that. So close. So the captain dies as well. And so, the other unit snipers, I presume at the librarian? Yep. So the snipers up in the building here. Just to take the fun away from the flyers. All, All hit. That one is wind. one more wound and one wound. Normal save, which he fails, so he's down to two wounds left on the librarian. And you don't want to fire the flyers at them, because that would be unsporting. So we'll just move on to my turn. Uh, I, might, I might want to shoot the flyers. I think actually. you may. And I kind of still want to shoot this venom at the biker. Oh, fine then. Play all your guns like that. Uh, so, ten shots. Yep. Into the biker. No invuns left, but it doesn't really matter. Fours to win. No, fours, fives. Fours. Fours. Okay, that's probably a dead biker, but let's see. Let's just make certain. Uh, no, that's a biker who tanked all six wounds. Wow. Doesn't do that often. No, and I'm out of shooting over there, so I can't actually kill a biker. No, you cannot. That's mildly frustrating. Okay, let's... Not that it matters much, because <laughs> pick up. doesn't pick up. get any yeah, points. Um, hunt, <coughs> let's go hunt the, the thingy. Right, so, uh, first Crimson Hunter <coughs> will shoot his... Two, his pulse lasers into that and the bright lancers into the tank. Okay, split fire boys and girls. Let's see go horribly wrong. So, pulse lasers. Hitting on threes. Mm. Twos. That's six damage. He's dead. No save? Uh, minus three. So six ups. Oh, so two six ups. Two six ups. Come on, librarian. Show him the folly of split firing. Oh, no, he's dead. So close, but he died. Other Crimson Hunt, oh, and then the Bright Lancers. So that uh, gives him which Hunter? Ruling Ones. One hit. One hit. And threes. One wound. wound. Minus. Uh, four on this one, so okay. no save. And D6 is three. Three damage, that leaves the Razorback on one wound remaining. So let's do this lovely split fire again. Let us do Pulse Lasers into this, and Bright Lancers into this. Yep, we can s uh, Can we see the Baker? This one? Uh, fine, I'll shoot the missile launcher. Okay, so pulse laser. That's one, one hit. hit. That's one and wound, minus three. 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 So, so that's fives. a five up save. Nope, he's dead. And bright lances. Two hits. hits with the bright lance. Threes. One wound with the bright lance. He's no. got one wound left, so the razorback dies. Does he blow up? He does not, so the razorback is gone as well. So, I believe... That is your turn over. Yeah, I have no more shooting. <coughs> Do I want to charge the biker? <laughs> that would be most and cruel. I think I do want to charge the biker. Okay, so I get my overwatch shots. Four shots. Let's do the cracking bolts, because minus... No, no, vengeance, minus two. Why not? It's not going to make any difference. We get one hit. We get no wounds. And the venom goes four inches, so it is end combat. That was more mildly frustrating. Let's see, can the Venom kill the Baker? I believe I have three attacks. <coughs> no, I have two attacks. Two hits. Uh, strength four, so five to wound. That is one, one wound. One. You're not going to kill him. Nope, can't even hurt him. He is a legendary Baker. Three attacks back from the Baker. Because I have given him a chain sword, so he's got three attacks. That's two hits, double sixes again would be nice. That is no wounds on the biker. <clears throat> so at the end of his turn, I have no morale because the biker's leadership eight, he's gonna pass, he only lost two. <clears throat> he will score Witch Hunter for one, and that's it. Do you wanna discard defend five or defend two? Uh, Probably not at this point, no. That's fine. So Witch Hunt has been scored. That takes you up to four points to my one. Um, 
I think this game's pretty much done, but we're going to play on, seeing as I have seven, your army still. <laughs> seven models left on the board, and I have another 20 or so to bring in, but we'll see. We'll go on to turn two for Death Watch and see what that brings. Yeah, so in my turn, I drew Supremacy and Secure Objective 1. Uh, objective 1 I'm not going to get to, because there's too many things there. Uh, <clears throat> supremacy, with some good deployment, I may actually have a go at that. Um, we shall have to see and measure up to see who's in range, so I'll come back to it at the end of my movement phase. So, my Becker fell back from combat onto the objective. Uh, I brought in my kill team and watchmaster here, next to the radar. I brought in the intercessors over the other end to target radar. And Doug is now going to use Four the forewarn stratagem, which is an insanely powerful version of Auspex Scan that basically any unit within the first here within six inches of the far here, can shoot anywhere on the tabletop at a unit arriving from reserve. Whereas most armies are limited to 12 inch range, because, you know, Eldar are such a struggling army in the current game, they get to shoot anywhere on the board. So this Crimson Hunter is going to open fire on the Primaris Marines. So, uh, gonna roll to regen? <clears throat> Nothing. Nope. <clears throat> Only two command. So, That's the same as Auspex Scan and so much better. Uh, pulse lasers. You do have two. <clears throat> One hits. And oh, Death Watch do, not Marines. Uh, Rerolling <clears throat> the ones. Yep. No. No. Oh, that does nothing. So, uh, pulse laser, <clears throat> two to wound, yep. three damage. No, uh, that does nothing. Wound and the Bright Lance wounds. <clears throat> wounds. Okay, so Six one wound and minus four. So. Uh, okay. Does one wound? Wow, okay. Two, 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 two wounds. It's D6. Oh, it's D6 damage. So one Primaris Marine dies, which is fine, but that was not as bad as I was expecting. I was hoping to kill two of the three. <clears throat> yes. So at the moment, I currently hold three objectives, so I will get Supremacy. Um, I can't reasonably get Objective 1, and I can't do Master of the Warp. So odds are I'll get Supremacy, roll another one, the game will be 4 2, and essentially over at this point but we'll play on just to see what happens so let's go now into the shooting phase we will start with these stalker marines uh, opening fire on this unit cable warriors and they will have to use their kraken bolts uh, it's the extra range ones minus one ap so i have to use them so hitting on threes against the cable lights that is not too shabby. Wounding on threes, re-rolling ones. Uh, that is five wounds against the cable lights uh, at sixes. minus one. Uh, five wounds, so and you rolled six dice. Oh. Well, Doesn't matter. Two die, two die, because that, oh, you rolled four sixes out of seven rolls. That is horrendous. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so two die, that's fine, that gets me that objective. Let's do the... <clears throat> Let's do this kill team, and we will go into the Ravager in front of them. And I'm going to use my Doctrine to give me plus one to wound. Unless I'm going to get Agent to Vet again. Uh, no. No, okay, so plus one to wound against the Ravager. These um, are the Storm Bolters. These right? are the Storm Bolters. So I will come back to you with the rolls for that and how much damage it does. With the re rolls from the Watchmaster, plus one to wound from the Stratagem, and the Tomb of Ectoclades giving me re rolls for heavy support, I did 18 wounds in total. Fives. And yeah, minus one for the Kraken Bolts to give me the extra range. So that is, it's got six wounds left. Let's see if any of these come up sixes and it's destroyed. Don't think that's enough. Yes. That's it's hard to dead. say that I mean. Yeah. It's dead, does it blow up? Yeah. It does not. So that's one Ravager down. <clears throat> that is fine. Uh, the Watchmaster 
Let's see what he's going to fire. He will fire his... Let me just check the range here. Hold on. So the Watchmaster used the Tempest Shell Stratagem to fire at this Ravager. Hit, but only did a single mortal wound. Next up, we're going to fire these Intercessors at the closest Raider here. Ravager. Ravager, sorry. Ravager. Okay, you want to use any stratagems? Uh, I'm going to use the minus one to hit. He's, yep, he's going to use the... Oh, no, uh, did I use that already? No, 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 he's going to use the lightning fast reflexes. Right, so that will be nine rapid fire going into these. Only winding on fives because I already used the stratagem, perhaps foolishly. But we'll see how it goes from here. Six wins. Oh, so six wins on the... Any minus two. So Sorry, five. So that's five wounds go through. Yes, five wounds go through on this Ravager. Hopefully taking it uh, down the bracket. Yeah. Yep. So that's damaged. Uh, we have the Storm Bolter left on the drop pod. We will put into the... Let's check the ranges. We'll see what we can... So the drop pod is going to fire into the Venom. Over here, he's within range of the Watchmaster, so hitting on threes, Oof, just as well. That's four hits, winding on fives. That's no wounds. So, with that, um, the assault phase, we are going to attempt to charge the intercessors into the... Let's put them into the Raider, <clears throat> see if that can go. Ravager yep. or the Sorry, Ravager, Ravager, can't say it right. <clears throat> let's put them into the Ravager, and for this kill team, let's try and put a charge into the Archon here. I may as well, because um, he should be in range, we can see how we go. <clears throat> so, the Ravager gets three hits. Two deaths, uh, two saves of six rather. Two six up saves for the Primanus. Uh, and I make them oh. both! Another oh, double six! Wow. Oh, I shouldn't have used up my double sixes. <clears throat> Let's see what the charge range. I came in from reserve, so I'm going to need a nine. Oh, I get a nine! Just enough to get in. And let's roll the charge range against the Archon. I think I'll probably need about the same again. Let's see. I get a three. That's not going to be enough, Maybe even with a command point reroll. Yeah, even with the command point mirror, it's not going to be enough. So we'll do the move for the charging intercessor unit, and we'll come back to you with the combat phase. So I moved the charges in. I attempted to use the Doctrine yet again in the fight phase to give me plus one to wound against the Ravager. Uh, Doug used Agents of Ect and rolled a six, which means I lose the command points and I don't get the effect. So we're going to roll the attacks for these guys and see how they do. Hopefully I can kill it off. Because um, they're probably dead anyway next turn. So, four wounds from this combat. I had a really good hit rolls with lots of five and sixes. My wound rolls, less so. So I've got four, let's see. And two, two go through. Yep, two go through. Taking it down to three wounds. I think that, is that the bottom tier? I do not know. Okay. So, it'll still, annoyingly, because of most of the Eldari vehicles, it'll still be able to fall back and shoot but hopefully to less effect. So, at the end of my turn, I score D3 points for Supremacy, because I'm currently holding three objectives. So I another get... Another one, please. I get another one. So that brings the score to 4-2, and that takes us... I will discard Master the Warp, because my Psyker's now dead. Uh, so the points are 4-2. Uh, Ravager's attack. <clears throat> Oh yes, Ravagers. He insists on attacking back. Yeah, I've got a full weapon with minus one AP. Clearly they intended this turn, I miss. And no hits for the Ravager. So, realistically, going into the final turn for the Eldari, because um, I don't think I'm going to have much left to survive at the end of this turn. Oh, uh, morale check for them. Do they require no, them? Really. Nope, they're immune to morale now. So, going into turn three, let's just draw the cards for... The Eldari, while we're here. Oh, so we have Defend Objective 2, Defend Objective 5, Kingslayer, which has already been achieved. Um, so that's automatically a score. Uh, so that's, at the moment, that's going to take it to 
Five points to two. Realistically, I think the game's over, but we'll play on and see what happens. So, end of the movement phase, we have one flyer come up here to annihilate my Stalker Marines, along with a Venom. We have a Venom and a Ravager coming over here to target these Marines. A unit moving to secure objective five. Uh, another flyer coming over here to target the Intercessors. The Raider uh, Ravager fell back from combat onto the objective. And we have the Cableite Warriors moving up on the Lone Biker. So with this, we go into the Psychic phase. So I am going to use um, Sick Council. Okay. To give my Warlock and Farsaid plus one, I can't remember if it's one or two. So, the command points are still coming. So many command points. I haven't used any in the beginning of the part of the game, plus one, so regen? No. Nope. So, Seer Council, giving you plus... I'm down to three CP. Seer Council does what? Plus one to cast. Plus one to cast, so... So, Doom on these. Yep, Doom on the Stormboater Kill Team. Uh, uh, goes off 11. on an 11. Uh, Jinx. Also on the Stone Bolters. Jinx on the Stone Bolter team. Does it need line of sight? No. Nope. nope. So that's an 8. That's also cast. And Goodbye, Stone Bolter squad. Executioner on the closer squad. Casts. And Executioner cast doing. Probably those? Yes, I would imagine so. So D3 mortal wounds, and if I kill one, D3 again. Uh, yep. Kills two. two. Mortal wounds, and one. So three die in total. So let's take three models off here. Okay, uh, that's done with magic. Shooting phase. Yep. Venom at that squad. Yep, Venom into the doomed and jinxed Stormwater squad. Uh, ten shots. I'm going to roll the poison on the back as well. That's, that's right. That's fine. Six, eight. <coughs> and I'll do the blaster separately also at that squad. That's a lot of hits. Forced to win. Forced to win indeed. With rerolls. Indeed. That's a three there. Yep. And there as well. Do you, not need, you didn't reroll the three. I did not. No, you didn't reroll it. No, and all three. So that is three, nine. six, nine wounds. Thank you. That's nine wounds at minus one save. No, no, no modifier. Oh, yeah, minus one. Jinx. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's four up saves. Oh, that is two, four, five die. Blast of wounds. Are you going to take it on a storm shield? I will take it on a storm shield. So that's five dead veterans. Let's take this on a four up storm shield with a blaster. Ah, no, one of the storm shields dies as well. So that leaves one, uh, no, two remaining. Two, four, yeah, two, one remain, uh, two in the squad remaining. One storm shield and one vanguard veteran. In case you wanted to assault me, I could still fall back and shoot. It's not going to be likely at the moment. No, I'm probably just going to shoot you. That, more. if you insist. Um, so we've got a Storm Shield and a dude left. So mm -hmm. I think... what The Watchmaster's got four up and vulnerable, right? He does, and a two up armour. Shooting the Ravagers onto them <coughs> seems like a little bit of a waste. But I don't have all that much else that can actually shoot over there. <coughs> I could probably shoot you with this. You could with the flyer. You're just looking yeah. at here. So what are we doing? Yeah. Okay, let's split fire the ravager. Salt phase? <laughs> split fire the ravager. I am gonna uh. shoot two disintegrators into that squad, one into that squad. Okay, two into the storm bolters, one into the intercessors. So uh rerolling ones because of Archon. Nope. nope, that's three hits. Threes. With Doom. With Doom. Three wins. That's three wins. Let's take on Storm Shield to start with. So three wins. First one saves. Second one doesn't save. Uh, that third one is minus. Like three, so so th third dead. guy he did. is dead. So that takes that squad out. Okay, and then disintegrator. Uh, two hits. Two wounds. Two saves six. Two six ups on the intercessors. And that is one dies. Two damage? Yes. Yeah, so one dies. Uh, I'm going to shoot Scourge next. 
Yep. Yeah. What's the range on the scratches? Uh, so 12 inches on the shredders. Uh, and I'm going to shoot. So the final shredder is going to go into that one. Yep. So three shredders, so it's three D6 shots. Split firing again. I like it. Five, six, seven shots. Um, and the carving into these guys as well. Uh, threes with three rolls. At minus one, so four saves. Four saves at minus one. Uh, that is three wins go through, so one dies. Coming. We'll come up with the rest of the. So at the end of the shooting phase, uh, only three of these marines fell after I made yet another double six save for the blaster. The squad here were wiped out. And the intercessors were wiped out by the fire of the flyer, the ravager, and the scourges. So, uh, Doug scores one point for Kingslayer. He doesn't get defend two or defend five, but he'll get defend five. I have four models left in the board. Um, I think we can call it there. You know what so, would have been really good for me to have remembered as well? It's the hawks. For number yes! Two. I killed the swooping hawks as well! He <laughs> forgot to bring them in. They are technically dead. I will take that. <laughs> so, thanks to Doug for a great game. Um, my battery's just about to die here, so we'll come back later with some recap. Okay, so the game's over. Doug got a, a well-deserved victory, I think. Um, not getting first turn really did hurt me. He was able to take out a lot of my anti-tank firepower, so three of the missile launchers that were here, and damaged the Razorback. Um, had I got first turn, I, don't, I might not have been able to destroy many vehicles, but I wouldn't have had to weather two turns of your shooting instead of one uh, and brought in some reserves so maybe with some luck um i think i did well playing the objectives it was the only problem is i got 2d3 rolls and both of them were one had they been a bit higher i might have brought things back but as things ended the game was five to two uh, where i had five models left so i really don't think i was going to contest um i had secure objective one i would have got secure objective five and defend three um, realistically, Same. none of them were achievable. So five's in the centre. Doug would have got defend five for two points. He was on three. I had nothing with the mobility left to take it. So yeah, I think um, I'm hardly telling people something they don't know here, but Eldari are incredibly strong um, in the current game, and it's tough to go against them. Death Watch, I think. The problem is Death Watch I don't think are great against vehicles. Which Death Watch have a very tough time against any kind of mech list. They do, I think. I've I've played you a few times with this list and I've got one victory. Um Yeah, I'm not so I far keep misplaying on objectives and, and this is this is something that I need to try and work on. So I absolutely misplayed on objective five after <coughs> killing the yep. Dreadnought, I should have used Fire and Fade to capture that objective, which would have scored the points already. That would have scored me to draw two points. More points. <clears throat> That's true. I think I've only just started using the Dreadnought. They're not terrible. Um, the last game, my opponent had a real problem. To, if you've got a lot of anti-tank, they're easy to kill. What I perhaps should have done was, we discussed this before the game, taking the Corvus Black Star. Um, with the Infernum Halo Launcher, um, it would have been minus two to hit. You would have been hitting on fives. I'm kind of shaking my head a little bit because, for me, I feel like my army is very weak to getting in combat. Um, like, almost everything <coughs> I have apart from the Ravages is minus one at least <coughs> to mm. hit. Uh, it's got lots of invulnerable saves, to shooting at least. So I don't think the Black Star would have made kind of any kind of significant dis difference. I think it would have allowed me to get, as you say, you're poor in combat, it would have allowed me to get into combat quickly on turn two. On turn two I would have been in the heart of your lines, maybe some frag cannons. I ignore, for example, the frag cannons probably would have taken out your rangers because you, the stratagem where you're hitting on sixes doesn't apply. It, you might have had a hard time destroying it because most of your anti-tank weaponry would have been hitting on fives. Um, 
and as you saw you struggled to even take out the dreadnought with a lot of shooting so um, with a unit tooled, maybe next time I'll take the Corvus and a unit tooled up for combat um, might let me get into the heart of your lines and cause some damage, we never know but at the moment I don't think this list was ideal for facing them I did uh, I, I think dropping, putting the drop pod down on turn 1 was a waste in hindsight um, I didn't get Master of the Warp and I only got one point for overwhelming. So going after overwhelming, yeah, in theory, if I got three, I would have said it was good, but I only got one. So well, if, you, if you deployed it slightly differently to allow you not to be in dispel range, but that's true. Had I deployed um, the librarian a bit further back, I wouldn't have got a smite off, but I probably would have got mighty heroes off just on the the squad that was with him or in him himself. But that that would have been a two. <coughs> 2 CP swing, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah, two, two points. I would have been two points to three. I would have felt a lot better about it. Um, it might have been worth keeping this for later to go and maybe take on... I, I would have liked to have seen all of your stuff down a lot earlier. Uh, just, like, I'm not worried about missile launchers. I'm not worried about LAS cannon. One shot, minus one to hit with a five up invulnerable. Chances are you're going to do nothing. The problem I have... shots and storm bolters. The problem is that, yes, I, I bring those units down, but I kill one of your vehicles, if I'm lucky. So two, see, each each kills one. The problem with that is, though, I wouldn't have been in rapid fire range of any of your vehicles come turn one. Had I been in my deployment zone, I wouldn't have been in rapid fire range. So I would have got ten shots, wound, hitting on fours, wounding on fives. Yeah. I'm not going to do much. So... Yes, it would have been, once your units get out, I would slaughter them. But against vehicles, I still think, the Death Watch, they got some help with the Tempest Share stratagem, but you can only use that once in match play. So D3 Mortal Wounds is great. You add it to uh, Missile Launcher, that's another. So 2 D3 Mortal Wounds is great, but when you're up against, what, 9 flying units? 9 flying vehicles? Uh, 5 Venoms, 3 Ravagers, and 2. So 10. 10 vehicles with good invulnerability because the I have great AP but not much in the way of taking out invuns, which is why I took Null Zone. But un unfortunately, Null Zone's an amazing power, which is let down by one, it's got a casting value of eight, so it's incredibly hard. And two, it's got a range of six inches, so most of the time you can't use it. It's it's a great, it's an amazing power if you can use it, but against most Savvy opponents, you're never going to use it. It's it's incredibly um, short range, six inches. I think would twelve be too overpowered? Maybe if it only selected one unit, because it's everything within. I think everything within twelve would be too overpowered. I mean, but, that's that's the argument for the black star, isn't it? Because you get to ignore that nine inches. When yes. You're yeah, you get to you get to move. Um, one of the good things about, yeah, the, the Black Star, I think I, I was considering taking a Black Star, but I actually used this list last night and it did quite well. But again, that was against a unit with very little shooting, against an army with very little shooting. So it did quite well, but I think uh, next time I'll maybe try the Corvus with a unit loaded inside to see how it does. Um, yeah, I think last time I failed you, the Corvus didn't do as well, but I didn't take the Infernum. So you were just hitting on fours. I think hitting on fives make a difference. We'll see. We'll see. So thanks to Doug for the sort of inaugural video battle report for St Andrews Wargaming. Um, I'll hopefully be bringing you a few more in the future. So if you anything you want to improve or anything you want to see, please let me know. Bye.